Hey guys, good morning. Before we get into the video, I am selling an ACO 3068B multimodes. 3068B plus multimodes that is wireless, Bluetooth, 2.4 gigahertz, wired, ASA keycaps. It's got foam in between the PCB and the, the plate. It's got foam within the case underneath the PCB. Almost completely modded. Only thing you need here is lube for the switches and you're all good. Okay, so I'm going to walk you through how I'm able to get this level of picture quality. But the first thing you need is to download OBS and learn how to use OBS. We're not going to go through that in this video. There are lots of tons and tons of tutorials on YouTube for that one. So I went over and changed the settings of my Red Dragon camera. First and foremost, you turn off auto exposure that's going to mess with your picture quality so the higher the exposure the slower shutter speed you get all right and the lower the exposure the better our shutter speed now how about we leave it at negative five go we're over here tweaking the brightness and all that the only things that i i've touched here is the contrast saturation sharpness and the gamma right now let's add in a little more brightness now in order for you to create separation between the brights and the darks you head over to the contrast increase your contrast now you will see uh, i'm losing the color in my face so that's when you will touch the saturation there you go so you're adding a little bit more color to the picture or the image of the camera and right now we're a little saturated but i think that's just all right for the sharpness this is set i believe its default is at four um you don't want your camera looking grainy so you decrease that over you can opt for zero but then now your 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 image quality is gonna look foggy in order to remove that fogginess add in a little bit of sharpness and you're good to go apply that okay okay there you go this is the red dragon gw910 as you can see the video is smooth right it's not perfectly as smooth as the elgato face cam but our shutter speed is acceptable right what do you what do you think there was one thing i forgot to mention here and you would notice that the backlight compensation over here is set i believe at like four five set it down to zero the gain keep it at zero if you feel like your face is still a bit dark or the main focus of the camera in the whole frame is still dark it means you are only lacking lighting you need to add more lights maybe add a ring light to your left and your right so that it's going to balance your um your image quality i would say so as i was saying a while ago i just turned the, the light on top of my head on and i turned off the lighting in front of me and this is what we get so this setup for your red dragon gw19 is very light sensitive Okay, so since we don't have ample lighting this time, we only have one light on top of our head and a light behind us that doesn't really help. Uh, what we're going to do, what would I do? Let's raise the gamma, would I? Definitely, yep. Contrast, we're almost maxed out on contrast. Saturation, we're maxed out on saturation. Hmm. I'd go this route. Decent enough. Because if we increase our exposure, we're going to sacrifice our shutter speed. From negative 5 to negative 4, you would see our FPS just... Uh, oh, it decreased to around... I think this is around 15 frames per second. 15 to 20 frames per second. But there you go. Negative 5 is the best um, exposure level for this camera. Um, sharpness. Do we add sharpness to add a little more oomph to our face? Sharpness this is good. Now uh, we're washing out everywhere, washed out here. How about a little more gain? No, gain is really bad. Um, brightness, decrease the brightness, shall we? Hmm. Yeah, I think this is the best. This is the best so far, the most accurate setting that I could put it. So we raised the gamma, we decreased the brightness maxed out contrast maxed out saturation 
We didn't touch gain, we didn't touch backlight compensation. White balance is set at auto. And be sure that your exposure is set at negative 5. So you can still get decent shutter speed. See that? Very smooth with... You can see my face well. Though I'm pinkish, I think that's just alright. Okay, now we're using the Elgato face cam. So this Red Dragon GW910 does have lighting options to light up your face. But heed my advice. This is not healthy for your eyes. You have this pointed at your face for around 10 minutes to 30 minutes, it's gonna cause fatigue. I can't even look at it. I hope that we were given some options to turn down the light. I think we do. I just haven't read the manual yet. But uh, yeah, get yourself a ring light. This is Bibi Haranero. If you've got some questions, comment it down below. And I'd be happy to answer if I can. Bye-bye. See you next time.